Hey guys, what's going on? Eagle here, back with another video. Today I have for you a Pokemon Go video. This is a little snippet of our Pokemon Go Articuno Day experience. It was me, both halves of Pikachu Poliwag, or Poliwag Pikachu, pardon me, uh, and uh, Mirabidos. So the plan for this was to... Uh, we get to a raid, we start the raid, the first raid we started, it was at like 10, it's like at like 101, 102, uh, because the event started a little bit late, or everything just lagged for a minute, which Niantic, I understand. Shit's cool. Um, so essentially, we started the raid. We, once the battle started, I gave my phone to the passenger. I was driving. Uh, passenger was uh, Mother of Runes. She, I trust her. She raided for me. Uh, we started the battle. I drove to the next spot. Um, when we got there, whoever finished catching first started the next private lobby. And, uh, started the next lobby. And whoever, about 40 seconds left into the lobby, we checked to see if anyone else was catching. If someone else was catching, they either, if it was not a good Articuno, they ran. If it was good, they kept catching we restarted the lobby. We don't want to cut anyone short because if I if I'm have a perfect on my screen and I caught a handful of good ones, no perfects, but I got a 98, 96, handful of 93s, two shinies. Um, if there's a good one on the screen, we are not rude. We will let you catch it. Uh, and uh, that's essentially what it was. This raid we had uh, one other person, Silonade, goes by Monster Nation. She's a very fantastic Valor. Love her to pieces. Uh, so our uh, later on in the day when we when she left because she she raids with child, so she couldn't stay the entire event. We picked her up again later, but we weren't recording that. We were I wasn't recording that. So normally it was pretty much damage tied unless a Morabi just goes in with a team of the champs on accident. Uh, B I go in with my recommended team, which during that was I believe. Three Smackdowns, two Aggrons, and a Flareon, which was terrible. Uh, besides that, our damage, is, our damage was pretty much really close to being tied, so we switched back from getting 15 balls because we're all great friends. So it was 15 or 12 or 11 balls. Uh, beforehand, we went jimming. And we made, we we went we have a set path. We went through the path. Took uh, if it's if it was an instinct gym, I do apologize. We took it. We traded off. If it was red spots, the Valor dropped in. If it was blue spots, we dropped in. If it was a fully demotivated blue, Valor took it. Fully demotivated red, we took it. Uh, just to switch it off, get a good balance. We ended up losing two of those gems. Well, at least Mystic lost two of those gems by the time the event started, which is fine. We mostly just had all red and blue gems. Uh, yeah. Um, not much else to say on that matter. Uh, we managed to squeeze in 35 raids, which averages out to uh, 5.14 minutes a raid. 5 minutes, 8 seconds ish a raid, which is fantastic. Don't know how we did it. Uh, that's the I believe that was the highest in our city. Uh, top, At least top 5 in the region for how many we did. Uh, let's see. At this, let's see, getting a Claim reward. Then, uh, see, we started at the one gym, and now we're at the other gym, ready to go in. I get in with the private group code, spin the stop because I needed items. Ended up with over 2,200 items in the event because raid rewards are nuts. Got the group code, went in, typed, typed her in. Uh, then we joined them with 35 seconds to spare. Would you look at that? Uh, quick, quick revive. Uh, throughout the event with Salonade there, it was three T-Tars used. When just the four of us, it was four. You know, three and a half, th th three dead, one half-ish health. So, you know, three revives, four hyper or max potions. <clears throat> it was fun. We now know what to expect from these. And if you missed Articuno Day, you missed the party, man. Uh, this is what you missed. You should watch this carefully. Uh, basically, I don't know if you, if anyone has seen tweets from other Twitter, some other tweeters or YouTubers. 
uh, from our experience, there were three gyms in town that are EX triggered for the following week. Every gym but those three had Articuno raids, which is amazing. Niantic initially said, I believe Niantic in a support email said that that uh, not all raids will be Articuno. They're dirty stinking liars because every raid was an Articuno. No regular raids were on the map, just Articuno. And we went, we covered almost the entire town. It was a lot of gas, but it was well worth it. Got over 100 rare candy, over 100 golden raspberries, logged in at 1.38 million experience. Should have been uh, 1.5 million, I believe, or 1.4 million experience. But no, should have been like 1.5, I think. That's math. Uh, yeah, should have been around that, but I, but we missed the luck egg in the first raid. I think we missed it on this one. I don't know. Uh, we're very forgetful. We were in the heat of the moment. We we're like, oh my god, Articuno, tap, tap, tap. So we forgot Lucky Eggs a handful of times. It's just cool. Got most of it in. We're all 40, so it didn't matter. Well, Son is at 40. But for the four of us, it didn't matter. I did cross 30 million experience during this event, which is amazing. <sighs> yeah. 40 level, uh, 41 and a half times over. It's nuts. Can't wait to hit 40 twice over and hit 40 million. Which, if they keep giving us these experience events, won't be too long. Uh, so yeah. If we expect to see Zapdos next with a Reggie Rock raid boss, Zapdos will not be doable. If it, yeah. Also, Articuno during this event was not doable for us because we didn't get partly cloudy weather. If we had partly cloudy weather, no, I don't think even with Partly Cloud we'd be able to do it, because I believe the simulation show it would take more than 180 seconds to win a duo. And during this event, Articuno was considered a tier 4 raid boss, yielding us an only only yielding us a 180 second raid timer, which... I mean, yeah, it's a little easier. It's also BS, because it's a shorter raid timer, so we couldn't do the duo. Uh, We did do one dripple. I was, I, my phone was overheated. So, uh, Runes, Blighted, and Mirabidos did a triple by themselves because I was lagging behind. Managed to get on with the, the instinct group that was walking around, 10 of them. So I had terrible rewards during that raid, which is, eh, whatever. I got the Articuno. Managed to get out there with two shinies, both 14 attack. I might power them, I might not. Got over a hundred Articuno candy out of it, which is fantastic. Caught 25 out of 35. It was fun. Uh, keep those SmackDown Tyrant Hearts being powered up. I I believe right right before the first raid, I maxed my fourth to level 40. So my only ones left. I have one. I have one more. I have two more left. One 15 attack. One nine attack, which is shiny. So. Got to get that shiny in there. Also, I forgot to evolve a seventh that was good. What can you do? I halfway expect them to bring back SmackDown because it's such a meta move. It's but then they could also bring back Shadow Claw Gengar because Shadow Claw Gengar is the only I believe is the only current way to duo Mewtwo with all six Shadow Claw Gengar. Shadow Claw Shadow Ball Gengar. So yeah, I believe I yeah at this point I ran I think. Hold on, let me rewind. Ignore me for a second. Yeah, I just ran. I just ran from the so now my now my video is desynced. Fantastic. Uh, you won't see that, but I I was doing this in post processing the voiceover because I a little a little rusty on the post process situation. Uh, so it's a little sync, but besides that, yeah, I ran because we, see, it went in with like 20 seconds left on the timer. It got close. See, this teacher wasn't even healed all the way. You see a little snippet of health. Whatever. This is my, uh, is that my 93, I think? 93 or 91 Titar at, uh, at a blistering 36.30 CP. So, yeah. Uh, beside, that's not in my best one. My best one's a 15, 9, 15, I believe. So that attack and stamina is really what matters for this guy. 
because it's all raid boss. Yeah, see, we still have Silent Aiden here. So there's a little cemetery in uh, the east part of town that has four gems, which is good, really easy to hit to. Also, uh, little tips, cemeteries are good. Uh, college campuses are fantastic on Saturdays and since it's summer. Uh, there's very few classes in session. So go to that. We hit up three campuses, the cemetery, a handful of parks. We may go to Kansas City next month because uh, they have a much higher gym density than we do, much less travel time, much more raid time. Well, although I do have to say, almost in every instance, we started, we, we caught and immediately started. So unless we ran from more encounters, uh, we would not have been able to increase that number to 35. But now they know what to expect. We can probably get another person or two. Uh, I'll have all six of mine maxed by next time. I know Mother and Blighted have all six of theirs maxed. Blighted maxed 10, Catherine maxed, or Mother maxed 9. Uh, Marabidus has like one max, so by the time Zapdos or Moltres comes out, we will be more than prepared. And if it's cloudy, partly cloudy, fantastic! We'll do great! <sighs> 10 minute voiceover? Ugh. Sorry guys, there's plenty of video to go. <sighs> yeah, dumped all my air candy into Kyogre because assuming Rage Rock is next, we want to get in a handful of those quads. Can't wait. Can't wait for another trash legendary. That's fun to do. Yep. See, that was a bad one, because I think Solonade was there, and then I, I guess didn't tap as good. So, yeah. Let me go over my... Uh, go over what I got in terms of uh, my best, my top ones. You're not going to see this, so I'm going to do just to talk about it. I'm in my Pokegenie app right now. Shout out to them. I got a shiny 14, 10, 15. A shiny 14, 11, 12. A regular 14, 15, 15, 98%. A regular 15, 15, 13, 96%, which I will be maxing uh, once, you know, Rayquaza or. Do max that for a Rayquaza or Groudon in neutral weather. Because I know a lot of Rayquaza's top counter, Rayquaza itself is boosted in Windy, which is a doable, which I will be doing once it comes back. Now that I have three maxed, I'll be maxing one more at least. As you can check out my Ho-Oh Trio video, my Ho-Oh Partly Cloudy Trio video, which is three, no, yeah, he's three, two max, one regular, I believe. It's been a minute. So I'm going to have at least four of those maxed. Yeah. And then a regular 15, 13, 14, which I may also max. That's 93%. I may also max. I may max those top two. And I'm gullible. I might I might max my 14, 15, my 14, 10, 15 legend, uh, shiny. Just because that 10 stamina is very useful in raid battles. Much more than a 12 stamina. And defense isn't critical in raid battles as much. You just got to be fast with your fingers. And frost breath ice beam is a very quick combination. So going into my, I don't even know what this is. What raid this is? It's 60 minutes in. It was nuts. Up, I forgot the rig. I believe at this point, I was running across the cemetery to go tell someone something. It's like, wait, I don't have the group code. Shit! Ran back to the truck, yelled for the group code, and we're in. As you see, this is a this is an uncommon uh, recommended party with the Kyogre. I don't know why it gave us a Kyogre. Kind of confused about what it's. It may have been a Blizzard move set. Honestly, probably should watch this. You know, and actually. Figure it out, but I'll do it later. So, uh, yeah, I've been rambling for enough. Keep an eye out for other videos on my channel. Um, I'm going to do uh, increase the music and let you guys enjoy this rest of this uh, video. So, yeah, thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to follow me on uh, Instagram at EagleDJM. I do post Pokemon stuff there a little bit. More, or less, more mostly, oh, sure. Jesus, mostly personal stuff. And, yeah, see you guys.